What's up everybody? Little Big Robots back for another video. This time I'm looking at another Rahio kit. Rahio is one of the 10 or 11 lines that I collect. Still, I haven't completed all this line. I Technically, I buy them as they come out and this is the latest creation. Look at my box. Look what they did to my box. Um, I got this. You get these from China. It's a Chinese company. I usually buy them off of eBay. Um, and it came to me like this. Um, well, granted, the box was packed fine. It even had a corner protection. They, they'll they put corner pl hard plastic on each corner. They really took their care. This just happens once in a while. The cool thing is about these kits is you know that it's kind of like a Lego box. If you bought a thing of Lego and you saw it like this, you know everything inside is probably just fine. Um, but this is their new uh, Dragonfly model. They release a model every few months. Um, and I absolutely love this little line. It's technically called Multi Abyss by Rahio. Multi Abyss is kind of their fictional world. There's a little bit of some English in the lore, but it's kind of like a. F I love the artwork, by the way. I always love how they draw. Reminds me of a Mobius or something. I'm not sure what that is. Um, but the, the lore is kind of like there's a planet or something, and there's aliens, and they've made these things to fight the aliens, whatever. Um, I wish I knew more about it, but it's a it's it's pretty inexpensive for what it is, considering how much you're, you know, you're you're shipping over from across the world is like thirty bucks. So you're not getting a ton, but it's one of my favorite uh, modular lines. Modular meaning that it's you know every part is swappable. So I've got an entire box uh, of where are my where are my re re heels? I'm looking right now. I've got an entire huge box. It might be on my shelf over there, but I get a whole box filled with extra parts because you get a lot of leftovers. I just realized when I first, you know, when I started recording this, I didn't finish the, the, the little figure. The figures are that, you know, that's the size, that's the body, the legs. So that gives you an idea of the scale. Uh, it's 1 60th scale. And this is the dragonfly. Um, how it typically goes is they'll have a basic design like this and they recommend the design. It has a um, you know, a place for you to put the pilot and all that. It's pretty self-explanatory when you look at it. But then they also have like a, um, a fight mode or something. In this case, the legs fall down. I'll show you in a moment here. Um, but it's not usually that complicated. It's just a fun suggestion from them, from them, from the company. But as you can see, now you've got all these cool parts that you can easily take apart. You can use that on something else. You know, it's, it's meant to be uh, played with and swapped out. And I've seen some really, really cool creations from uh, Rahio fans. Right now the only Rahio group I can find is on um, Facebook and they're based in uh, Indonesia. So I don't speak the language. They do speak some English uh, so they're much smarter than I am. Um, but they have posted a few cool builds on there. It's just a really cool system. I like that it's kind of reminds me of like uh, Lego Technique Lego whatever where you can see you know the guts, the 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 hard underpinning of this whole design you know you can see you can see what they're going for here it's just kind of it's quite literal you know but then they do stuff like these little artistic bits you'll add these little lights and stuff like you know to give it a little bit of a more of a design feel rather than just you know let's put a bunch of pieces together until it looks like a robot so this one though is pretty cool you have the the cockpit here I don't have my I didn't finish the dude so I didn't assemble him but basically he sits there pretty self-explanatory. These kind of fold out like arms, I believe, but you can see how, how simple they are just attached like that. See, so you can, you can really take this design and beef it up or whatever. And then the legs here kind of fold down. So let's see if I can do that without breaking it while I'm looking through the phone. This is the, this is the word. I really need a new setup. I'm trying to get a new setup, um, for my, uh, for my recording here because I really need some, some other way of doing this. And I believe these just come apart. Simple, blah, blah, blah. Excuse my all torn up hands. Use so much hand sanitizer, it really fries my hands. Uh, let's see, so you take that off. How do you rotate that down? You go, do, do, oh, you turn that around. Okay, very good. So what you're essentially doing is you're turning this. Uh, did that fold it out the other way? Let's see, now I am, why am I confusing myself? Let's see here. You're gonna. F oh, so you do turn it around, I guess, is what they're trying to say. So I'm gonna turn this around. I'm gonna fold this. Uh, let's do like, like. It's hard to do. 
in the screen here. Let's turn this around. Uh, doo -doo. There we go. Let's do that there. Turn that like that. So, so you get one. There's basically a foot, foot design. So let's turn this out, this part out. Ay, ay, ay. Uh, snap that back in like that. Uh, there we go. Now I'm getting you sorry about that. I'm trying to look in the camera while I'm doing it and it's kind of wrecking me just a bit here. You see like that. Same thing over here. You're going to turn this out. Turn that around. Oops. Oops. What am I doing, what am I doing here? There you go. Oh, that's got the part. I was wondering what that was. Do, do, do. I didn't do that right. Uh, yep, okay. And then this one here. Turn it out. If I can. It is so hard to do this. Right. Oh, Jesus. Uh, yep, yep. There we go. So you got the four kind of legs. Not leg, proper legs, but they're pretty, they're okay. Oh, I put, pulled off the, the um, gun here. Let's see if I can get that into a decent position. And then you've got this kind of walker mode. Really, it's it's just so simple. Oh, and then you have this part here. Something else pops down here. Let's see. That right there is supposed to come down. And that folds out. So they have this, this kind of under part here, which is really cool. Let's see if I can show you that without it flying everywhere. So this should fold down like that. Oh, that's cool. And then this comes out, I guess. Oh, but that's in the way. Fold out more or just like this, maybe just like this. Sorry, I'm trying to show, there we go. So then let's fold this back down. I guess the gun pops out. Is that right? Eh, roughly. Again, it's just a suggestion. It doesn't have to be perfect. Yeah, so the it's supposed to have a bit of a gap there. So you've got basically the two arm guns here, the the, the four quote unquote legs, and then it walks around like that. Frankly, I would uh, not ever pose it with this com combination here. As usual, you get a few uh, besides the the little dudes there. You have a few leftover parts. Sometimes with Rahio kits, you get a lot more leftover than this. But these are joiner joint parts, so you get a ton of little parts like this that you can easily use to, you know, build a a mega bot or something. But as you can see, even from this, let's say if I was to grab one of these, uh, let's grab this one here. Excuse me, my allergies. So this is a, a, a vermin slasher, one of the big bots. There's a motorcycle that pops out of here. If you want to see the review for this one. I have a playlist at the end of the video or in the description, but you could see how easily you could combine this in there. In fact, I think they have a couple suggestions in here for combining, did they? Uh, maybe not. On the, uh, the, the paperwork on eBay or the pictures on eBay, they actually have a suggested build where you borrow this guy's arms and you put it on here. And so, so this is Rahio. It's a smaller scale, 160. Um, the, the, you know, characters are like that big. But you could see using this along, uh, you know, alongside other scales that would work. You know, it doesn't really, except for this, it is an obviously, heli, you know, it's an obvious helicopter. So it gives a sense of its own size. Something like this, and you can combine that. It will totally just be whatever you want it to be. But I think it's pretty cool. I don't like this version of it. I will keep it in the helicopter mode for now. I'm going to buy a, another color of it. I try to get every color if I can. Uh, but it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. I like this, but I'm not going to use them much. Helicopter blades. Uh, maybe, you know, you could use this even as a weapon or something. But other than that, the blades are a bit much. The tail section, but you get these smaller blades as well, so it's pretty cool. These two pieces separate, so you could see using those on, like, legs or something. It reminds me a bit of the, um, uh, what's it called by Hexagear, the helicopter by Hexagear, uh, the Steel Rain. It kind of reminds me of that where... This is an obvious, you know, good part to use for legs or something, but it's pretty cool. It's not bad at all. It's not my favorite. I will mess with that and put it back into the regular helicopter pose, and we'll see how that goes on the shelf. But anyway, enjoy. Go buy you some uh, new Rahio. You can find them on eBay. Um, that's typically where I get them. You can occasionally find them on Amazon as well. So have a good day, everybody. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.